Hi, it's James William Ward here. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking to you about NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. And I've got this book here, uh, which is called the NLP, The New Technology of Achievement. So I'm going to be sharing with you a few of the ideas that I've taken from this book that I think are really, really useful. <music> NLP is about taking conscious control of our thoughts and changing them deliberately, then this will change our behavior as a result of that. Another core tenet of NLP is that all experience is made up of different parts. So we represent experiences to ourselves internally. So for example, if we think about what we're going to be doing tomorrow or what we're going to be doing in a week's time, we represent that to ourselves by creating images in our mind, pictures in our mind, creating sounds in our mind, and creating feelings in our mind as well. The modes through which we interpret the world. The way that we think is by using these internal senses. Once we acknowledge that this is how thought is created, how experience is created, we can then consciously change those images we have in our mind, sounds and feelings to experience things in a different way. So today what I want us to think about is motivation direction. We all have things that drive us towards something. When we feel motivated to get up and go towards a particular goal, that is towards motivation. And we also have away from motivation. That's when you want to act in a way to avoid a particular situation. Now, if you think of it as two ends of a spectrum, so on one end you've got something which is pushing you away from it, and another end you've got something which is pulling you towards it. What's really interesting is that everyone has a different level of towards motivation and away from motivation. So for example, some people are highly motivated to get away from certain things, and they can live their whole life motivated by avoiding unpleasant situations, on avoiding discomfort. A great example of this is if you're waking up in the morning, if you keep putting the snooze on for another five minutes, another five minutes, another five minutes, this is a classic example of being away from motivated when you're getting up in the morning. You're pressing the snooze because you're motivated to get away from the unpleasant feeling of getting up in the morning. And then after you've snoozed for like 20 minutes and you realize you don't have enough time to get ready, suddenly the pain, the unpleasant experience of being late for work or being late for wherever you have to go to becomes so intense, you're then motivated to get out of bed to avoid being late for work. For certain things, this can be really, really effective. But for pursuing goals, for getting more of what you want, it's not always the best strategy. Conversely, other people are highly motivated to move towards certain things. They look at something and they want to go towards it. This can be really useful for getting things done and moving towards goals, but there's also shortcomings in that motivation as well. So for example, if you're planning a big project and you want to start moving towards it, if you're overly motivated towards and you don't have any away from motivation, you might not think of all the challenges and pitfalls that you could face. The question for today is, are you more motivated towards things or are you more motivated to get away from things? What drives you? What inspires you to move? What, what makes you take action? Is that because you're trying to avoid a situation? Are you acting because you want to get away from an unpleasant situation? Or are you acting because you want to move towards something? What's the most uh, prevalent motivating factor in your life? Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, keep living life and love learning. Bye-bye.